The ardent fans of the Kansas City Chiefs were worried that the attention surrounding Taylor Swift's attendance at their star tight end and the team would distract them when their relationship first surfaced during the club's Week 3 game. It has turned out that the reverse is true. Following a chilly night in Denver, the Chiefs would do anything to return to their former identity as the Kansas City Swifts. However, Kansas City found itself at the center of the circus of attention surrounding the new A-list marriage, with more emphasis focused on Swift than football. Swift mania has taken over the NFL, and the Chiefs have been enjoying themselves immensely as a result of the Pop Princess's attendance at four of their past five games, which helped them to a six-game winning streak. But the singer didn't want to be in a freezing mile-high city when she was getting ready for her era's tour to return to Argentina on November 9th. Additionally, the Chiefs and the NFL would lose if Swift was absent. The Swifties appeared to have lost interest in Sunday's divisional showdown after it was revealed on Friday that the anti-hero hitmaker would not be attending Empower Field to support her tight-end lover for a fifth time. There were no signs about Swift, no costumes, though the new A-list coupling is one of the most popular Halloween choices, and no eyes on the sweet windows of the stadium. At Empower Field, the closest fans could get to seeing Swift was during the halftime costume competition, where one of the dogs was dressed as Fearless. Approximately 12,000 people did not show up for the AFC West match due to several reasons, including the cold 23-degree F temperatures and the possibility of a snow game or the absence of celebrities. Perhaps relief for football fans. A blow, nevertheless, for the NFL. As one of the league's greatest players, Swift's newfound passion for football has sparked the emergence of a new fan base for the sport and one that the NFL has heavily utilized. At sports, Swift has received more coverage from broadcasters than the athletes on the field. She has even had promotional material for her era's tour movie blasted during commercial breaks. In the meantime, the worldwide celebrity has taken over the league's social media platforms. The Chiefs' Week 3 matchup with the New York Jets at MetLife Stadium saw over 2 million more female viewers than usual when Swift arrived at the stadium, accompanied by Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds, and Hugh Jackman. But there was nothing to put on a platter for the Swifties without her presence. Will the Swift effect demonstrate that this is a long-term phenomenon or a passing fad that will eventually fade? now that the singer is prepared to take her NFL by month The true test will come from Kelsey and company's journey to Germany the following week and the matchup between the Kelsey brothers in Chiefs-Eagles on November 21st, Kansas City's first game following Swift's return from her worldwide tour. And the Chiefs were as much of a bust as the NFL may be. The defending Super Bowl winners had recovered from a season-opening loss to the Detroit Lions, to go on a six-game winning streak, the majority of which took place with Swift present, in the hopes of holding on to their title. But the magic was broken in Denver as the clock struck midnight. Sunday was not a storybook ending without the Chiefs Kingdom's Queen. As their 16-game winning streak over the Denver Broncos came to an abrupt halt, they actually witnessed a reign come to an end. A less swift it was Kelsey's lowest performance since week two. This week, when left on his own, he caught six of nine catches for 58 yards without a touchdown. Quite the departure from the 108 yards per game, he's averaged in the four games she's watched from the stands. He caught 12 of the 13 passes thrown to him for 179 yards last week at Arrowhead, while just two weeks earlier, when the Chiefs played the Broncos, he finished with 124 yards, both times with Swift in attendance. It wasn't just Kelsey, though. The Chiefs appeared dated as a team. With Denver forcing five turnovers on Sunday, Kansas City played its first four-plus turnover game against the Buffalo Bills since October 2021. Despite being sick, quarterback Patrick Mahomes 
only completed 24 of his 38 throws for 241 yards and threw two costly picks. A streak spanning eight seasons ended when Will Lutz's 28-yard field goal flew past the posts to seal a 24-9 victory. At that point, Swift made her final appearance. At least her voice are good. Shake It Off, a song by the 12-time Grammy Award winner, was played over the Broncos' speakers, adding insult to injury. The Chiefs fans had long since left the embarrassing scene, but the Denver fans did as they were told and shook and shimmied in their victory. However, Kelsey and the Chiefs are the ones who are hoping that they can actually get past this setback. If not, Swift will have a difficult route to the postseason.